Hello all, here I am going to discuss about the, the calculation of energy gap of a given semiconductor. It is the circuit what we use to calculate the energy gap of a given semiconductor. In this, the battery, ammeter, p-n junction diode, micro ammeter and heater, thermometer, connecting wires are used. Here the input voltage can be variable we can set based on the requirement we can give low voltage or high voltage to the circuit here the circuit is in reverse bias connection that is pn junction diode that is the p terminal is connected to the negative and n terminal is connected to the positive and in case of reverse bias the current value is very very minimum to measure the current value in the circuit, we use micro ammeter. And here the voltage source, we can select either 1 volt or 10 volt, depends upon the situation we can give. And this is the heater and thermometer is inserted into a chamber. The chamber consists of the p-n junction diode. That p-n junction diode immersed in the oil. This is a p terminal and n terminal. Red is representing the p and black is representing the n. This is the heater on and off button and the heater that temperature rate can be adjusted by using the white knob. This is a mercury thermometer and these are the connecting wires. This is the circuit diagram we used for the connection point of view. Here the battery, battery is positive is connected to the N side, battery negative is connected to the P side via ammeter. That is ammeter positive is connected to the battery positive, ammeter negative is connected to the N terminal of the PN junction and the PN junction is immersed in the liquid. Right, coming to the connection point of view, we need to give the output to the uh, semiconductor. Output might be like a 1 volt or the 10 volt, it depends upon the semiconductor we used to give in the reverse bias operating voltage. Here the output connecting to the, here just take it as output positive, this is a positive. And here we are giving the voltage to the circuit. This is a negative to the negative. Output positive to the positive and negative to the negative. It is given as like battery is connected now. The battery connection is given to the circuit by placing the positive to the positive with controlled button. We can vary the voltage by using this control controller. We can vary the voltage input voltage <coughs> now the voltage is given to the circuit and even we can vary the voltage of the circuit by using this button and the micro ammeter the micro ammeter cos 2 is connected to the positive, this is the positive of the micrometer, negative is connected to the negative of the micrometer. Here we are using the micrometer because we are given the reverse bias connection to the p-n junction diode. In general we used to give the reverse bias connection to calculate the energy gap of the semiconductor. I will discuss that why we need to give the reverse bias why we are giving the thermal energy to calculate the energy gap of the semiconductor that part we will discuss in the other section here this is the k and a this is the cathode and the anode this is the pn junction diode symbol in general we know that so the diode like a line is related to the n side and the circuit this is represented as anode or the p side like a positive so here i am giving the positive to the See here, this is a positive given to the positive and negative is given to the 
negative. So in this way we can we can connect the circuit to calculate the energy gap of the semiconductor. It is operated in reverse bias mode. And coming to the heating point of view, the PN junction diode is inside this chamber, like it is completely immersed in the liquid, like we are using coconut oil. That part also I will discuss in the uh, related section, like why we need to give the coconut oil in calculating the energy gap of the semiconductor. This is the regulated heating supply. We can increase or decrease the heating supply to the PN junction diode circuit. And this is the thermometer. We can measure the temperature based on the situation. And coming to the operation point of view, once the circuit is on, even we can give the 1 volt or the 10 volt. Just I given the 1 volt button here, so it means 1 volt voltage supply to the semiconductor. And heater should be on. I given the heater is in the highest point up. Then connections are over and then now we given the on button like on connection for the both the circuit as well as thermal temperature point of view. Now we are giving the thermal energy to increase the temperature of the PN junction diode. Obviously it can give the conduction mechanism that means it can increase the conduction mechanism inside the PN junction diode. That changes the current we can measure in the micrometer with respect to the temperature. That means, for example, when we take in the temperature at 80 degrees, it may have the 100 microamps. When cooling point of view, it might be take like a 75 degrees, it may have the lowest value of the conduction. Like, for example, when we take in 100, now it might be 90 or 80. Depends upon the calculations, we can measure the energy gap of the semiconductor by measuring the current value with respect to the temperature. In this way, there is a possibility to measure the energy gap of the semiconductor by taking the diagram of the temperature on x-axis and current on y-axis parameter. The calculation part will discuss here. These are the observed values uh, in the calculation of uh, energy gap of a semiconductor. When you take a 90 degrees, the current is around 125. So here the current value is completely depends upon the instrument and uh, semiconductor. What we uh, what amount of energy we supplied to the semiconductor that decides the current magnitude. Here, 90 degrees 125 and 85 degrees 80 degrees, the current values are decreases. So, after that, we just take in the current in terms of Kelvin. Here it is 90 degrees, the current, sorry, the temperature added 273, then it becomes 363. So, this column represents the temperature in Kelvin and this is the current value and in this experiment we are going to draw the graph between the 1 by T in terms of Kelvin on x axis parameter log IS value on y axis parameter. That's what we take in the reading 1 by T and this is about the log IS values. By drawing the diagram related to the log IS versus 1 by T, the graph is negative slope curve. It's a linear curve, but the slope is negative. We need to calculate the slope of this curve by taking two different points. According to the formula, the EG is nothing but magnitude of the slope by 5036. By using that formula, we are going to calculate the energy gap of a semiconductor, the obtained value in electron volt. Here, why we need to take that formula and why the energy gap of a semiconductor is connected in the reverse bias mode and why we need to give the temperature 
and why we immerse the semiconductor in the oil all these doubts will be cleared in the next video this is about the calculation procedure and the measurement me taking method related to the energy gap of a semiconductor